Event organizers are looking for suitable testing sites and ramping up manpower to prepare for more crowds from the 24th of April. That's when rules are relaxed that will allow up to three times more spectators. Even so, some tell CNA that it's still too early to say if business will get any better, since many other safe distancing rules, well, they are still in place. Deborah Wong with more. This hall can seat over 800, but when restrictions were relaxed to allow up to 250 for live concerts last year, in reality, only half that number could enter. Now, we still need to ensure there's a bubble wrap, um, there is a between zone to zone uh, distancing. So in a way that if we don't unlock or relax the SMN, um, the, the, the number will remain the same as 150. It will be the same situation when up to 750 will be allowed next month with pre-event testing. Organisers also say not all may want to pay for such tests. These must also be done quickly so that concerts can start on time. Mr Ho says his team is already preparing to hire more manpower and getting potential testing sites ready, like setting aside enough room to quarantine those who don't pass the test. Meantime, ticketing service provider Sistic says for events with 250 people and above, its system already allows registration for COVID-19 tests. It says it will next work with authorities to include proof of vaccinations and test results in digital tickets to help speed up admission. One full-time musician who's used to playing in front of thousands at music festivals agrees lifting crowd limits can open up more opportunities for performers. But it won't be easy, as long as live shows are still banned in small establishments. The vast majority of musicians who make their living performing, uh, I believe they have to rely on the gig circuit. Very few people do big concerts, which is what this is catering to, you know, like flying in artists or like big local artists and you're in the indoor stadium, very few of us make a living from that. Still, at least one sports event organiser believes the expanded capacity limits sends a strong signal that Singapore is ready for more of such events. I think any sports organisation would be keen to work with um, whatever requirements are, are, are placed because um, sport without spectators is, is not really sport. So um, I think, you know, there would be a discussion between both parties around um, cost and implementation. World Table Tennis is already in talks with authorities to host events in Singapore soon.